In today's science workshop, Lydia will be telling us all about forces with the help of fidget spinners. Everybody say forces. Forces. Everybody say forces. Forces. Louder, forces. Forces. Excellent. They determine how we move. They determine how we jump. They determine how fast we can go. They determine our top speed. Lydia shows us forces in action. Did I have to push it downwards? No. Because there's something invisible pulling Gravity. it down. What is the name of that invisible force? Yes. Gravity. Look at this yo-yo. If I let go of it, is it going to fall down? Yes. And there is an invisible force called tension in this string. Gravity, tension. Gravity, tension. Lydia even has some easy ways to remember the different forces. Gravity makes things go down, 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 down. and tension pulls them back up, up, up. If I let go of it, what's going to happen to it? It's going to fall. Let's try to make it keep upright on its own without tension. It's going to use this force called torque. Watch. It. Torque makes things go round and round. Fantastic. This is a ball and I'm going to give it a push. So what are you going to expect it to do? Move. Good, 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 good. Push and pull, it makes things move. Push and pull, it makes things move. Good. Oh, dear. It has come to a stop. Anybody guess why it came to a stop? Friction. Yes. Friction, Friction makes things stop. stop. Lydia explains how engineers' understanding of forces help them create the fidget spinner. Engineers know that if you have something that rolls, there's a lot less friction. So ball bearings like this. Everybody say ball bearings. Ball bearings. This here is in the middle of every fidget spinner. Choose one, and this is what I'd like you to do. Put them on the table, just like that, and I'd like you to apply a force, a turning force. What is a turning force called? Torque. Oh. All of you have to apply the most torque, and you keep your hands up. Once it stops spinning, you put your hands down. And I'm going to take time. We've gone past 25, 6, 7 seconds. We've gone past 40 seconds. Ooh. One minute. One minute and 17 seconds. We've gone past. No, no, it's fine. No. <laughs> There's 120 seconds. Grace's one is moving too. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Three minutes. It's at three minutes now. OK, the winner is. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Can you be the one to say, ready, set, spin? The next experiment explores uneven forces. I think I know why, because there's only two of them. Yeah, and it's not equal. Yeah, well, the one that has the more weight will get the longest. Why does this move like that? Because it's uneven down here. It's not balanced. Lastly, Lydia explains the science behind some cool fidget spinner tricks. Things that are heavier, and if they're moving, they have momentum. This one has no momentum and it's not that stable. To give it momentum, I need to give it speed. The faster it goes, the more stable it becomes. Because you know that it's stable when it's moving faster, you can do this, watching. Yeah, show me some cool tricks you have. Can you try switching it? Fidget spinner. Oh, well done. Oh, wow. Let's all give it a try. Ah, there we go. Raise your hands if you've learned something new today. Good. Let's finish off this lesson with horses. Tell me about horses. Push and pull. It makes things move. Friction makes things stop. Gravity makes things down, down.